ourselves, but also be behind managing talent because I think that's like a big part of creating a song. Right. You have to be able to know people's like energy. Uh, yeah, and and be able to guide it in a song the way that you see fit, but also that fits them the best. Right. Mm. I think with like curating yeah, the record from facts. the very start mm -hmm. to the end is is just a crazy thought to not only play it on the radio right. but also design it you know you got felly fell who's done Fail -feasy. multiple records not just records right. get records platinum with recording artists, artists. Exactly. with multiple artists i think about the you know get buck is one that comes to mind right. for me right yeah away, which had ludicrous akon akon yep right um fell how, how does that even how do you get all those artists in one studio to, to bring that collage together? First of all, uh, it takes a lot of luck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, it, it, I could tell you guys the, the detailed story, but I'll tell you this, man. Um, it was, uh, First of all, having something that was appealing to the artists, and I was real fortunate to have a beat that I did that was that all these artists liked, mm. um, and it was a it was a it was a journey, one artist at a time, because uh, a lot of people think like, oh, you know, songs get made with all the artists in the studio at the same time, but normally that's not, as you guys know, you know, that's not the case, mm. um, and it wasn't the case with Get Buck in here. It was it was four actually five four different artists in four different studios five if you include the studio that that i made the beat in and six if you include the studio that i that i mixed it in but it was a journey and it and it you know i mean the saying you know is more is made by the many and that's a perfect example with uh we get bucking here who who is who is the the most difficult artist to I don't know if you had to convince anybody or, or was it all everybody was on board when they heard it? The, mo the most difficult to get get on a song or the mo most difficult to work with? <laughs> That's two both. Different things. Yeah, <laughs> both. <laughs> uh, so the most uh, the most difficult to get on the song, I, uh, I don't know if they were, honestly, to be honest with you, it was, it, it, all the artists like the song, I mean, uh, but, but Luda probably. Speaking, what a hit. Of, yeah, speaking what a hit. of the instrumental though, Feli, because I know you're responsible for a lot of that. You know, like around that time, I know Will I Am was making music where he felt like he wants it to sound mixed already, thinking as a DJ, so you could just play it all the way through. Mm. Get Bookin' Here is a song that you could just play it all the way through. It sounds like a few different songs right. in one song. Mm. Was that your mindset when creating or when choosing that beat, Fel? You know what? It evolved into that because I I know I have I know what you're talking about mm -hmm. in the sense that the, you know the song slows down at the end. Right. Uh, that it, it it wasn't like that at first. That happened toward the end. The song originally was Akon, uh, which I recorded with him in Vegas, and then Luda, which I did in Atlanta, and then we mixed yeah. the song and it was yeah. done. <laughs> and I was in 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 Hollywood with Bruno's Bruno Mars's guys actually mixed that that song uh they were my boys and this was right at the time where they were hooking up I think they didn't even know I think they had barely met Bruno and we were mixing the song and I was I always wanted to slow us you know to do a tempo change in a song and that's when I said hey let's slow it down and we did and then and that was when the the crunk tempo kicked in mm. And Lil John had just moved to LA from uh, from Atlanta, and I called him up, and he lived actually in Hollywood at the time by the Hollywood Bowl up in the hills. And I called him. It was like two in the morning, and I'm like, "Hey man, I'm down the street. I got some." He's like, "Come to the crib," and uh, we ended up uh, partying until like five, six in the morning. But I, that's when I played it for him, and that's when he recorded it, and yeah. that was the end of Get Buck in Here. So it, that... it was a mission. Yeah, and, and and there's there's a lot of hands that go in that pot, man. A lot of people don't know that, uh, you know, as you said earlier, you know, more is made by the many, and, and this is the perfect example of that. You know, you have Felly Fell, obviously, you got Lil John, you got Ludacris, you got Akon, you got the people that mix the record, right. you got people that master the record, you got people that take it to radio, um, and, but you know, I think it, it came out being well worth it. It did, and I know, and and you guys, you know. 
uh, played a role in that in so many different ways uh, as you know, at the radio station.